Friends, uh, is video, in this video, uh, we will see uh, three topics, class inheritance, overriding methods and operator only. But before this, uh, before uh, starting this, just I want to request you that this is my channel learn tech to tech. You just uh, type here learn tech to tech and uh, search, then this screen will open and you click on the learn tech to tech. And please uh, subscribe my channel by clicking on this uh, red button. Uh, by clicking on this red button we are not uh, subscribed till that so let us start our topic uh, class inheritance overriding method and operator overriding so what is class inheritance uh, we know that uh, actually class inheritance whenever we uh, inherit the property of one class from another class then it will be the class inheritance so let us uh, i will open uh, some program of inheritance so you see that this is the program of inheritance here i am declaring one class vehicle and uh, i am trying to uh, i am trying to uh, inherit the property of vehicle by the class car so you say that uh, we have a vehicle uh, class and in this vehicle class one uh, value is uh, initializing with 10 value and uh, this is the constructor uh, in it and these are methods parent method and these uh, this function is used for setting the value and uh, this function is used for getting the value and another function car class and this is inherited to vehicle so how can we inherit uh, the syntax is uh, class class name and the parent class name in bracket so here vehicle means this car class is inheriting the properties of vehicle so in this uh, function also there is a init method that is constructor and another class child method or you can see that car method so let us see how this inheritance will work so, this car method will inherit the properties of the uh, class vehicle. So, just I am creating one instance or objects of the car that is C and I am uh, calling the I am calling the class uh, uh, child uh, child method then uh, parent method and uh, we, I am also setting the value from 10 to 20 and uh, also i am getting the value so here we see that uh, i am created the class created the object of cl car class but i am uh, accessing all the methods of parent class also like p method set value and get value so let us see what will happen it will uh, work or not so i am uh, running the module and you see that uh, child constructor is also called and uh, child method then parent method is also called successfully and we also successfully updated the value of parent that is from 10 to 20. So, this is the small introduction of uh, inheritance how this inheritance is working in uh, python. So, some something you have to keep in mind that uh, whenever we create subclass then we write the uh, parent class within the parenthesis. Our next topic is overriding method how can we override the method. So, let us see one another example for overriding, uh, I am opening the overriding method. Now, this is the program for overriding, you see that uh, again uh, you see that here again there is a class vehicle and uh, there is a class car, uh, there is a class car. So, let us see we create uh, object of uh, car, object of car by simply writing c equal to car and we call c dot get sorry uh, c dot get value so we will uh, save the program and we will run so here you see that child method is uh, called and child constructor is called and then child method is called but uh, here uh, you see that there is two method with the same name get value and get value both in vehicle uh, both in parent class as well as base class but whenever i calling uh, by the object of uh, car that is object of subclass then this class overriding the get value of parent class so this is the overriding example on uh, python and uh, in the last topic we will see the operator overloading so, what is operator overloading? 
uh, first of all we see what is operator only actually whenever we uh, do the more than one things more than one operations by the single operator then it is the operator only let us see uh, in uh, plus is used for uh, addition but i am using plus uh, for the addition of a complex number so this is the operator already so let us see a one example uh, i'm opening some file uh, recent file then um, overloading so you see that this is very simple example that is complex and uh, one constructor is there just for initializing the value of a and b and actually this is the uh, underscore underscore str underscore underscore actually uh, this is the special attribute or a special method which is uh, used for printable string representation where that means whenever we print the uh, anything in the string format then it will be called automatically and i have created the add method where i am adding the uh, complex uh, i am adding the values of the complex number so you see that i am created the object c1 of the complex object so a and b is uh, initialized with 5 and 6 and uh, with the uh, object c2 the a and b is initialized with 9 and 8 now this uh, whenever i using c1 plus c2 so that is plus is for addition so automatically this add uh, the add function will uh, call and uh, the value of uh, a for the c1 and the value of a for the c2 will add here here self uh, self means uh, this uh, whenever we call this c1 plus c2 so the object of c1 goes to self and object of uh, object c2 goes to others the first uh, object will go to self so self dot a equals uh, value of uh, c1 and uh, others of a means value of c2 so whenever we add these values then 9 plus 5 14 and 6 plus 8 14 so then print uh, function will call the str because it is a string format and it will display in the format like this so let us save and i will run the module so you see that the result will be complex 14 plus 14 why because here 9 plus 5 so the value of self dot a is 5 and other dot a is 9 self dot b is 6 and other dot b is 8 and 9 plus 5 14 and 6 plus 8 14 so this 14 and 14 is displayed from here so this is the small uh, this is the very simple introduction of these three topics so friends if you liked my videos and uh, like my video so please do not forget to subscribe my video by clicking on the red button below my video. Thank you.